G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build my entire fantasy Japanese castle base. It's pretty big. And believe it or not, we're actually going to get this entire thing done in one video. That's because I've already done tutorials for all of the large buildings here. I've got a tutorial for the castle, I've got tutorials for the two trading halls on each side, and one for the gate, and I've also got one for the pagoda if you want to include that. That can just be put anywhere pretty just outside the grounds of our castle base. And all of these gardens are chunk builds and I have tutorials on how to build all of these. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to put them all together. But you are going to have a few decisions to make because I built this castle complex originally on uneven ground. So you can see on this side, the wall there is level with the flat ground. But as we come around this side, I've got a bit of an embankment there. So that's an idea on how to flatten out the ground. Because in here, you'll need a nice flat space. Although you'll find when we get to the castle up this end, I just let the castle wall go with the natural slope of the land. And you can see here, I've just got the, a bunch of trees that were naturally spawned in. And I just left in the hills that were already there, so they frame the castle nicely. So it's up to you if you want to do something like that, just up near the end where the castle is, just going with natural slopes. Or if you want to have the entire area flat, like I have here. So I'll be doing the tutorial for this one right here on completely flat ground. And then you can just decide what you want to do with these areas up the end. Do you want to have the natural landscape in there or do you want to put more buildings that's uh, that's completely up to you and in case you're wondering this is how the build looks without shaders so the first thing we'll need to do is mark out the area for our base and this is the shape right here so you can build this out of stone just sitting on top of our flat ground but remember where the castle is right up the back you can have uneven ground up there if you want to so we're going to begin by building a rectangle. I know this looks like a square. It's nearly a square, but it is a rectangle. So at the front and the back of the build, so where your entrance is, you're going to have a wall that is 84 blocks long. And on the two side walls, it will be 85 blocks long. Okay, come along to where your front gate is going to be and we'll put in the foundations. So you're going to build this rectangle right here and the rectangle is 13 blocks long by 23 and just place it along this stone line so you've got six blocks on each side of the line and because it's uh, this line's only 84 blocks long you're going to have a 30 block gap on this side and a 29 block long gap on that side. So once you've got that in, come along to the back wall and we'll do the foundations for our castle. And this time we're going to be making a square, so this will be 35 blocks long on all four sides. But at the front of the castle, we're going to leave a 15 block gap right in the middle. So you've got 10 blocks either side here. And then to place it in this wall, you can actually place it wherever you want. But where I've placed it, I've left a 29 block long gap on this side and an 18 block gap on that side. And now we'll do the foundations for our two trading halls. So what you want to do is just count out 10 grass blocks. We're leaving a 10 block gap. And then we're going to build a 14 block long by 47 rectangle on each side. And just the wall that's facing toward the center of our build, build that out of acacia planks. And then right in the middle of the build, we're going to make this square out of polished diorite. And unlike the other foundations we did, this one, we're actually burying it in the ground. And this square will be 34 blocks long on all four sides and you're leaving a 13 block gap from the front foundations here and 11 block gaps on the sides. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start sending you to the different tutorials to make all of these buildings and you can find all of them linked in the video description 
And the first step of all these tutorials will look like the foundations that we just built, so you'll know exactly where to build them. And don't worry if a bit later on you realize that you've put your trading halls like one block further in one direction than I did. It really doesn't matter, guys, if yours looks a tiny bit different. That is completely fine. And the first build we're going to do is the castle guardhouse. So you can find that in the video description. Just click the link and follow the tutorial. So this one goes at the front of the build. And the next one is the Japanese trading hall. And we're going to be building two of these. So just build them on the foundations we built on the sides. And the final one to build is my fantasy Japanese castle base. And that one, of course, goes on the foundations up the back. And even though we're just a few minutes into the tutorial, this has probably taken you a few weeks to build all of this. But uh, we're not done. We're still following tutorials. Now we're going to start doing the gardens. And you can find all the tutorials for these linked under a heading called Chunk Builds. And the first one we're going to do is the Koi Pond. So these are all little 16 by 16 builds. So looking from the front of the build, we'll put ourselves over to the front. This is where you're going to be placing it. And uh, yeah, just go ahead, follow the tutorial and build it the way I've built it here. And then right next to that, we're going to be building a garden tea house. So find the link to that one. And once again, looking from the front, that is where you want to place it. And then in this spot here, we're going to build the Zen garden. So once again, looking from the front and then finally, we're going to follow the cherry blossom chunk build. And that is our little area in here all done. You'll notice there is one more chunk build linked in the video description. We're going to be building that later. OK, now we're going to start doing some building together. So starting at the front here. We're going to swing around to the left hand side and right next to this little lamp post. We're looking at this stone block. Each side of that, we're going to place a polished basalt and we'll leave a five block gap and then we'll do two more. So just make sure you've got five blocks in the middle there and then grab some stone. We'll go one, two, three, four with stripped dark oak on top and the same thing right here. Another four stripped dark oak, and then we're just going to build all of our polished basalt up to the same height as our dark oak. OK, looking in the same direction I am, we're going to knock out those two blocks, place in stone bricks, and then we'll do another three with two stone right there. We'll do a stone brick slab and then one, two, three, four stone slabs. And then come around to this side, we'll put a stone stair on each side with three stone slabs in the middle. And staying on this side, we're going to look up at our dark oak and place white concrete all the way across the top. In front of that, we'll do spruce fences. Then back to our white concrete, we're going to put two right there. And then we're going to use red terracotta and just build a little horseshoe like so. Now grab a polished basalt. We'll run a line of it across like that. Then we'll do two spruce fences. We'll hang some lanterns. And then against the terracotta, we're going to place warped trapdoors and flick them down. And then we can swing around to the opposite side. We'll do fences across the top. Underneath that, we'll do our basalt. And then back to fences, we'll put three there and another three. Down here, we're going to put two stone brick walls and they will have lanterns on top and then just place three warped doors. OK, come up the top and on top of our dark oak logs, we're going to place dark oak planks and we'll run stone in between. And then against all of that, we're going to place seven dark oak stairs on each side. Then right on the end here, we're going to place a blackstone brick slab. Each side of that, we're going to do a blackstone stair. And then look in this direction and we'll place a stair on top and we'll do the same thing up this side. So slab a stair on each side of our slab and then looking away a stair on top. Then grab dark oak slabs and we're going to run seven of them across the top. 
Then just at the top of this basalt, place a dark oak slab and we'll run seven of them across here. And then just using a couple of temporary blocks, we're going to get another line of slabs just at this height. And then on the ends of these, we're going to place our blackstone slabs. And then just for a bit of decoration, we're going to put a blackstone button on each side here with dark oak buttons in between. Then you can come over to this side and we're going to do those two lines of slabs again. So, whoops, coming down like that. So seven dark oak, two lines of seven. We'll do our blackstone slabs and then just grab your buttons. Okay, come around to this side and we're looking at this lantern on the wall. We're going to remove that and place a stone block there with a cobblestone stair in front and then we're going to knock out those two bushes. Then from this side we'll do a stone stair and then you can replace the wall and our lantern. Then on this side I'm just going to place stone brick stairs so you can see where to place them but what we're going to do is we're going to run our stairs all the way down here until we connect and we're going to do the same thing on this side. So like I said, I'm just using stone brick stairs here for speed, but when you do it, I want you to mix in a whole bunch of stone stairs and cobblestone stairs. So your finished product should look something like this. Okay, we're going to leave that corner, but staying at the front of the build, we're going to come over to this corner here. And the first thing you can do is come over to your guardhouse we're going to knock out that stair and then run a line of stone down in this direction. Then you can turn the corner and run it all the way to here. You can break those two leaf blocks. I want you to connect it there and add an extra two. Now, just on the stone that we placed right then, we're going to mix in just a random mixture of andesite and stone bricks. So just go ahead and throw these in randomly. Remember, just on the stone we placed, not on the stone that was already there. So when you're done, you should be looking at something like this. Now I want you to come over to these acacia stairs. We're going to knock them out and all the stone here finishing just at the end of those leaves. And then we can also remove those leaves and that lantern. And we'll also get rid of that lantern and just place a stone block in there. Now grab your stairs and run them all the way around here. Remember, I'm just placing the stone brick stairs for speed, but when you do it, I also want you to mix in the stone stairs and the cobblestone stairs. So I'll run it all the way along on that side and we'll also do it on this side, finishing right here next to those bits of stone. So when you're done, you should be looking at something like this with your different varieties of stone stairs all mixed in. Okay, now you can come to the back of the build where our castle is. And we're looking at this edge of the villager trading halls. And this will be the exact same over there on that end of the trading hall. So you can do both of these at the same time. First of all, you can remove that lantern and the wall and place a stone block in there. You can take out all of these leaves and that lantern and you can also take out those stairs and just keep taking these out all the way along. Then what we're going to do is leave a one, two, three block gap and then that is where your stairs are going to start. But on the outside of the wall you can just start your stairs right here and run them all the way to the castle wall. And remember it is exactly the same up this side as well. So when you're done, both sides should be looking like this. So now we've built the foundations for our castle walls. We're going to build the walls on top. So we're going to begin next to this gate. This gate, by the way, you can just have a little path coming from this and that will lead to the pagoda if you're building the pagoda as part of this castle complex. So we're going to begin just in this little gap right here. We'll start with two spruce. Then two dark oak, we'll do two lines of white concrete on top. And then on top of that, we'll put deep slate tile slabs. And then down here, we'll go one, two, three. And then you can hop around to this side right here and go one, two. And that fence stops us from putting in the third one. And you can see it's matching the same pattern on the back of our trading halls. 
And then you can come around to this side of the gate and right in the corner we're going to place four stripped dark oak logs. But then it's the same. Starts off with spruce planks, then dark oak, then two lines of white concrete. On this side we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to run this all the way along until we get right to the end. Just at the end here we'll do another four stripped dark oak. Then we'll do our dark oak lying on its side. But now we're going to put in some windows. So I want you to do two blocks and then grab an oak trapdoor and flick it up. And then from here we're going to do three blocks. So just leaving three block gaps between our windows like so. And then you can do your two lines of white concrete all the way across the top. Just remember this pattern guys is going to be the same for each wall. The only difference is where the windows go. We'll put our deep slate tile slabs all the way across the top and then just down a little bit we'll do another one of our deep slate tiles. They're magical, they're disappearing on me. That happens a lot to me, maybe it's up to fine doing that. And then we'll also do it on this side and we'll just run that all the way until we connect to the gate. So that is the wall. I'm not going to build the entire thing for every other wall, but I will show you where the windows go. So I'll just show you the other walls. If we come to this side of our front entrance, that is what the wall looks like. So you can go ahead and copy that in. If you get a window slightly in the wrong place, it really does not matter, guys. And this is what it looks like around here. The only other thing is just on the inside, you can see I've got these little fence posts with lanterns on them. You can throw those in if you like. And staying on this side of the build, we'll come down to this corner. And this is how I've laid out my windows. And then on the opposite side of the castle, this is how I've begun. And just remember, I've got this little pillar of stripped dark oak coming out of the side of the castle there. But this is the layout for the windows on this side. Okay, you should have all your castle walls in now. So what we're going to do is come to the ends of our villager trading halls. And what I build on this end, I want you to copy the exact same thing to the other side. So come over to where we left out these three stairs and we're going to place two acacia planks. And then we're going to leave a three block gap and place another two. And we're going to continue doing that. So I've placed it three times now. We're going to place seven in total. Just like that, guys. Then you can come to the end. We're going to place three acacia stairs. And then what we're going to do is using acacia slabs, we're just going to fill all of this in and make a little pathway that goes all the way to the end. Just like that. So now I want you to come over to this lantern in the corner. Next to that, we're going to put two fence gates with an acacia fence and then one, two fence gates again, and we'll do two fences there. Then I want you to place an acacia plank. We'll skip a block, place another plank, and then two fences. We'll put a lantern on that one and a lantern on that one. And you can see where I've got these two blocks. We're going to do what we did just a second ago. We're going to skip three blocks and then place our planks, skip three blocks and place our planks. So I've done three of them so far. We're going to do 11 in total. So when you're done, you should finish just out the front here near our tea house. And then what we're going to do is just what we did before. We're going to fill this in with our acacia slabs. And once that's done, I want you to come over to this diorite right in the corner and we're going to place an acacia fence there. And you can see it's right next to that block. And we're going to continue to place the acacia fences right next to the acacia plank blocks until we finish right here. And then just in between these fences, we're going to run acacia fence gates. So by now you should have that exact same thing built on both sides, but from here on in, it's going to get different. So we'll begin on the left hand side. So I want you to come over to your trading hall and we're going to count the bushes. You can see there's one lot of bushes there. We're going to skip one, two, three, but the fourth lot of bushes, we're going to knock them out. And then we're going to take those fence gates and move them over to here. 
We'll get rid of those stairs and the bushes we just grabbed. We can place them there. This is going to be the new entrance. So all we're going to do now is using acacia slabs. We're going to bring this all the way over, just making a little bridge until we connect right there. Now I want you to come down to the end here. We're going to spin around to this side. We'll do an acacia plank there and another one with a slab in the middle, then three acacia stairs, and we'll also put three on this end. And now we've done that side, we're going to turn our attention to the other side. And to begin, this is pretty simple, right where our front door is, we're going to remove those stairs, and we're going to run our acacia slabs across here until we connect. And once you've got that bridge in, come to the front end of the villager trading hall. And right here against these stone blocks, we're going to place two acacia planks. Then we're going to skip one block and place another two. And from here on in, we are skipping three blocks. So we'll do another two there. Skip three blocks. Skip three again. We'll do it another time right here. And then... Finally, right there. So we've done it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in total. And of course, we're going to fill this in with our slabs just like that. Now I want you to look down this little hallway here. And right here, we're going to place two acacia planks. We'll do a slab in the middle and then three stairs in front. And then you can come to this end over here and we're also going to place three stairs. And then just on this side, we're going to go plank, plank, and then grab your slabs and we are going to connect right there. Okay, now I want you to come back over to this first side we were working on and just come over to our bridge and we'll do one, two fence gates then a fence, then two more acacia fence gates and two fences. And you can turn to your right. We'll go one, two, three fence gates and a fence. One, two, three fence gates and a fence. And one more time, one, two, three fence gates and a fence. And we're just going to add an extra fence in front of those ones. And then in between here, we are going to run three jungle leaves. And you can see our lanterns on the left hand side. We're just going to match them with lanterns on the right hand side. And then right up the back here, you can just run your jungle leaves across. So that's how you should look when you're done. Okay, now we'll move behind this to the other side of our little bridge. And we'll begin with two fence gates and a fence, then two fence gates and two fences. Turn to your left and just next to the planks, we're going to be placing our two fences poking out and then in between all of these we're going to run our three fence gates with three jungle leaves and you can see our lanterns on the left hand side we're going to match those with a line of lanterns on the right hand side and when you get to the end we're going to run jungle leaves across that end and then over at our bridge we are also going to run our jungle leaves over so what we built there in that little rectangle, we're actually going to build the exact same thing in these two rectangles. So what I might do rather than show you the whole thing again is we'll just go up above so you can get the aerial view. Just pause the video, copy exactly what you see here into both of those rectangles. So when you're done, guys, you should be looking like this. And now, once again, we're going to be working on all three of these rectangles at the same time. Come into here, and what we're going to do is just dig down two blocks and clear all the dirt inside our rectangle. And once you've dug all of these out two blocks deep, we are going to fill in the bottom layer with sand. And this is how you should be looking when you're done. And these are going to be ponds of water to put fish in. So we've got that one long one over there and our two shorter ones on this side. Now we're going to make a little change right here because this bridge is going to be an actual bridge. So we're going to break the five leaves on each side there just in the middle. 
And then we're going to dig underneath and also remove this layer of dirt right here. Just like that guys. So then you can come in here and fill in the sand. And then finally we're going to give our bridge a couple of legs. So just under that fence, place another fence and the same right there. And then all you need to do is put in your water. So we're just doing a single layer of water here. And you can decorate randomly with seagrass and lily pads. You can add more decorations if you want. I just put in those and a few fish. So do it on that side and of course over here. Okay, now I want you to come down to this area over here. And starting just next to this lantern, we're going to go one, two, three, four acacia fences. We're also going to add four right there and there, another one on that fence, and again on that fence. So build all of these up until they are four blocks tall, and then we're going to connect them with acacia fence gates right at the top. So you'll have to hold shift. We're just going to run this all the way down here, and when you get to the one on the end, we are going to turn the corner and run it along until we connect right there. And then we'll also just add another little line of them right on the end here. So just run these along until we connect. And that's how you should be looking when you're done. So that's the odd one out. For the other three pools, this will be exactly the same. So we'll be putting the four fences on that fence there. And we'll be doing it behind all of our lanterns. And then right on the end here, we'll be doing it on top of this fence in the middle. So we've got all our pillars up. We're just going to connect these with a big rectangle of our fence gates. So when you're done, you'll be looking like this, guys. And of course, at the other trading hall here, go ahead and do the exact same thing. Okay, that's our main structures out of the way. Now we're just going to do some decoration and we'll do it over near our side gate. So I might begin with just a little bit of random grass. Then grab some podzol. We're going to knock out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. And you can fill that in with podzol and plant a rose bush on each of these. I might put another bit of grass in the corner. And we're just going to surround these with jungle trapdoors. And just to the left of our rose bushes, I'm going to knock out those two blocks, place in polished andesite, put another one there, then two and three. And just in this little area, we're going to just mix in a, a random mixture of lilacs, jungle leaves, and you can throw in grass and the occasional pink tulip and just randomly fill up this area. Just like that. So now I want you to turn around. We'll come into this space right here. And up the back, we're going to place three temporary blocks right there. We're doing that so we can place acacia trapdoors against the top of the block and then flick them down. Then you can remove the temporary blocks and we'll place three smooth red sandstone slabs in there. So we've got a nice little park bench and I'll put a bit of grass behind it as well. Now we're going to start underneath these fences. We're going to knock out that bit of dirt and then we're going to knock out these dirt all the way along here, just like that. And we'll do the same on this side. We'll knock out these and finish underneath there. I didn't mean to knock out that one underneath the bush. So right here, I'm going to place a piece of rooted dirt and the rest of these can be podzol. And on the left hand side, we might do two pieces of rooted dirt and then the rest is podzol. And now we're just going to decorate this and you can do this however you like. I've just done a random mixture of grass and a few different flowers. Okay, now we'll turn to the right and just over here, we'll place some jungle leaves and a few bits of grass and we'll come over to this corner between the stairs. I'm going to knock out those three blocks and place in polished andesite. And then here I'll knock out six blocks and we'll put our andesite in. Then over here we're going to knock out two andesite. We'll do a single and we'll do three and two. 
Now grab some acacia fences. We're going to put two right there, then one, two, three fence gates, and another two fences. We'll place lanterns on these ones and jungle leaves in between. And now we're just going to mix in a bunch of plants. We'll do some lilacs, we'll do some grass and pink tulips. So just fill in this little area. Okay, now we're going to look at this line of polished diorite we have here. So we're going to leave the diorite on the two sides, but all the diorite in the front here, I want you to replace it with grass. So when you're done, you should be looking like that. Then we'll come back up to this end. And starting right here, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jungle leaves. And then starting next to this fence post, we're going to place five. Alrighty, you can look over toward your guard house. We'll throw in just a bit of grass randomly around here. Now over on this side near our little spring, we're going to add a fence post there. Then one, two, three fence gates, two fence posts, three gates and two posts. And then we're going to put three lanterns along here. We're going to put jungle leaves in between and then we'll put a grass block there and we'll go one, two, three jungle leaves with one on top and two more. And then starting underneath these two fence posts, we're going to put in polished andesite and then I'll knock out three more and you can put those in and we'll do two singles, then three and two singles. And in this area, just fill it up with pink tulips lilacs and grass. So when you're done, you'll be looking something like that and you'll notice the ground looks a little different. All I want you to do now is just put in some path blocks and it's just paths apart from the occasional bit of coarse dirt you'll see mixed in there. Now when you do it, it doesn't have to be exactly the way I've done it here. It's just to give you an idea of where to put the paths, but go ahead and put those in. And you'll notice when you put in the paths, you'll be able to see little bits of dirt underneath certain objects. Just go ahead and put a block in there so it looks a bit better. You'll have the same thing around here where you've got stone. Just put a little stone block underneath your stairs. And uh, yeah, there's lots of places like that, like in there. So just remember that. Okay, now we're going to come over to the right hand side of our build. And next to these stairs, we're going to put three fences. We'll do lanterns on those two with jungle leaves right there. And then we're just going to go three fence gates with two fences and we'll just keep doing that. When you get to the stairs, just put another two fences there, then three fence gates, two fences. And then right here, we're just going to go a single and a fence and you can put two jungle leaves in there. Now for all of these gaps, what we're doing is putting two lanterns on the sides with three jungle leaves. So keep going along, putting these in. So you should be looking like that. Now I want you to come right to the end here. We'll just put a flower pot there with a dead bush and a flowering azalea. And then you can come down these stairs and right here, we're going to place two temporary blocks and we're going to surround it with four acacia trapdoors. Then you can break your temporary blocks and we'll put smooth red slabs. And uh, so we've got another little bench there. We'll just decorate it with a few bits of grass all over the place. And then we'll put down another flower pot and an allium. And now we're just going to make a little path out of rooted dirt and coarse dirt, just connecting this bench to the stairs. And you can do this completely randomly if you like, but there's the way that I did it. And oh yeah, now we're just going to build a little tree. So what you can do for this is you can either copy that tree from over there and just build it here and then fill in the area with some jungle leaves and ferns and things. Or if you're able to get world downloads, you will find this one in the video description. And this is the exact tree that I built right there. So you can just grab the world download and copy this in. And there's going to be another cherry blossom tree later. I'll also include it in the world download. Okay, we're going to leave this area and come over toward our castle. And just like we did at the front, we're going to remove this line of polished diorite and replace it with grass blocks. And once you've removed all of that, starting right here, we'll put in three jungle leaves. And then we'll wander along here next to this rock. We're going to put in four 
And then we'll go right to the end here and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do one on top and one, two, three. And you can decorate with some grass, a lilac and a white tulip. And then you can turn to the right and diagonally from that stair, we're going to place a jungle leaf and then we'll put two more. Then we'll go one and then one, two, three. We'll do a bit of grass there and a white tulip. Then we're going to go an andesite wall next to the leaves. We'll skip three blocks, place another. And on top of these, we're going to place three acacia fences with an extra one poking toward the center. And you can connect them with fence gates. And we're going to hang two lanterns. Now grab trapdoors, acacia trapdoors. We'll place two on top like that. Then looking from the sides, we're going to place them like so. And then holding shift, we'll place one right there. And just over near our castle, we'll place in one, two, three, four jungle leaves and two grass. And now we're just going to put in a path like we did earlier. So it's just path blocks and the occasional coarse dirt. And just behind this little Tory gate, you can see I've placed in a bunch of lapis blocks. I just want you to dig out all of those blocks. Just like that. Then you can come over to this side. We're going to put in one, two, three, four cobble blocks and then two cobble slabs. And then we'll continue on to the right. We're going to put in two cobble blocks there with cobble slabs beside them and an andesite stair. Then turn to your right. We'll do a cobble slab, then two cobble blocks. And then you can see this visible dirt underneath our castle wall. What we're going to do is just replace it with a random mixture of cobblestone and stone. And once you've done that, I just want you to fill in this area with water. And one thing I actually should have done earlier before we put the water in is actually replace the grass with sand blocks. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you now the water's in. Sorry about that, but just go ahead and put sand in. And once you've done that, you can come over here. We'll do two jungle leaves and then we'll do one in the water. We'll do a cobble slab right there and then a jungle leaf in the corner. Now holding shift against the top of that block, we're going to place a spruce trap door, then another, and you can break that and place a lantern on top. Then turn to your left. We'll do a cobble slab there, then an andesite, then a grass block, then two jungle leaves, a cobble block and a cobble slab. And just behind this, we're going to knock out one, two, three, four stairs. We'll do an andesite block, two stone and a cobblestone. We'll put an andesite slab there and a cobble block in front. And then one, two, three cobble slabs then an andesite slab and two more cobble slabs. And to finish, you can just decorate with a little bit of grass and a bunch of flowers. You can place these wherever you like. And you can also throw a little bit of seagrass into the pond. And in addition to our flowers, you can just scatter grass all the way around here. And you can also put in some bamboo. Just make sure to put string on top so it doesn't grow too tall. So you can either copy what I've done here or just do it however you like. Okay, now we're going to come over to the other side of the castle. And just next to that plank, we're going to place an acacia fence and then three fence gates. Another fence. We'll do that again and we'll do that one more time. Then we're going to put three acacia stairs. Then we'll do a fence, three fence gates, another fence. Then this time just two fence gates and a fence. Now on top of the fences next to the stairs, we're going to place an extra four acacia fences. So one, two, three, four with an extra one poking out toward the middle with a fence gate in between. And we're going to hang two lanterns. Then holding shift, place a trapdoor in the middle, acacia trapdoor on the sides. We're going to look in this direction, place them in and then two more right there. Then come down the bottom and we're going to knock out underneath that. Whoops, I knocked out too many there. We'll put that back in. We're just going to knock out the blocks underneath these fences. Keep going. And what we're going to do is turn the corner and connect to the castle. 
And then in these blocks, we're just going to replace them with a random mixture of stone, cobblestone, and andesite. And once you've done that, you can come over to the front of our castle. And starting on this stone, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six jungle leaves with an extra two. And one up there will do two grass and another two grass like so. Then you can come back around to these stairs we just put in. And from the middle of the stairs, we're going to knock out 14 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and then we're going to turn the corner and knock out these six, and you can put in polished diorite. This is just temporary. So inside of this diorite box, we're going to build my garden pond chunk build, but the obvious thing is this is not a full chunk. So all you're going to do is build the parts of the garden pond that will fit in this area. And in case you're a bit unsure of which area I mean, everywhere where I've placed a lapis block, that's where you'll be building, not outside of that. And here is the finished product. So you might want to pause the video so you know which way to orient this when you build it. But uh, yeah, when you're done, you'll be looking like this. And the only things you'll need to do is you'll have exposed dirt just underneath the castle wall. So you'll need to come in here and just put in some blocks so it doesn't look weird. And then when you're done, you can get rid of all of these diorite blocks and then just put in a bit of a random path around the side. And then the rest of this area is up to you. So what I did in my original build is I just had the natural terrain with a few trees in here. So just plant some saplings if you want to. And then over here on the other side, I mentioned we had another cherry blossom tree. You'll be able to find this in the world download and I just placed it next to the building on this side. And then once again, all of this area is up to you. You can fill it up with whatever you like. And that is it guys. That is the build 100% complete or as, at least as much as I built. You've got the extra little areas to do with whatever you like. And of course, remember, you may want to put the pagoda out the side here as well. And you can find that in the video description. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've gotten to the end of this and have everything here built, I shudder to think how long it took you. There are a lot of different tutorials in this one. Leave a comment if you get to the end and have it all done. How long this thing took you to build in survival. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks from me again, and I'll see you next time.